You are watching 24-7 Fox TV Media. Caretaker Prime Minister Anwar al Kaka has arrived in Zurich to attend the 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum WEF, in Davos, scheduled to be held from January 15 to 19, 2024. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, French President Emmanuel Macron and key Middle East leaders are slated to attend the World Economic Forum, putting talks to end wars in Gaza and Ukraine at the top of the agenda for the global elite. Stay tuned with coming news updates. Global political and business elites are gathering once again in Davos. The Swiss ski resort hosts the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and French President Emmanuel Macron are among those expected, alongside thousands of business leaders. But the meeting has rarely faced a more tense or complex backdrop, with talks due on how to end wars in Ukraine and Gaza. One focus is whether Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will meet Chinese Premier Li Chang during the event. On Sunday, Ukraine Presidential Chief of Staff Andrei Yermak remained hopeful. I, I didn't see the final schedule of the meetings of the presidents. We know that uh, the Prime Minister of China will be as well here. Let's see. Zelensky will speak in Davos later in the week. As for Gaza, the White House says Blinken will bring together key players. That includes Israel's president and the leaders of Qatar and the United Arab Emirates, countries that have emerged as power brokers in the region. It all overshadows the usual economic themes at Davos, though they too look unusually complex. On the agenda will be the future for interest rates and the world's mounting pile of debt. A keenly awaited debut will be made by Argentina's new president, Javier Millet, voted in on a promise of sweeping economic reforms. But one figure looming large at Davos won't actually be there. Donald Trump was the star attraction in some previous years. Oh no, I have great confidence in the Senate. But is staying away this time to focus on his re-election bid. He didn't even get a mention in the WEF's annual Global Risks Report, published each year ahead of Davos. But the possibility that he might win, and the consequences that might have, are very much on the unofficial agenda.